Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Orban here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode in my Serbia campaign for the Medieval Kingdom's 1212 AD campaign. And when we left off in the last episode, we were hammering through Hungary, and I believe they are just down to two settlements. Uh, they have this settlement here, Estrogom, or Est Edzergom. And then we have Prague here as well. And I'm going to try and liberate the Kingdom of Bohemia. I'm not sure if they have been wiped out or not. But as far as I could tell, they don't show up on the map. So I'm going to try and revive them. And then maybe just give that other settlement back to them. Because I was looking, it's in a completely different province. And we would have to go back to war with the Kingdom of Cilicia. If we really wanted to hold this province. And I'm just not really interested in that. Now, you did miss a couple of things during the end turn. I did unfortunately lose Pex because I didn't have an army in here and we had absolutely no garrison. So that was my bad. You can see I have to change things over once again. In the one turn that they were in there, they already rebuilt the Catholic Church. So I've got to fix all of that. And we did have some rebels here, but we should be able to push them away without any trouble. To battle! But in today's episode, I'm going to try and get rid of Hungary. Yeah, I'm just aggressive it. And then after that, we just push full steam ahead into Anatolia. The only thing is, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to leave the Siege of Constantinople for the final battle. Because they are starting to not like us very much, considering we're at war with... Um, who do they say? Yeah, they really don't like that we're at war with Hungary right now. That's uh, kind of making them a little bit upset. I mean, I can try and get some more treaties with them once again. And give ear to your words. I mean, maybe this would make them happier. It's hard to say. But I just don't know how much I really want to invest in trying to keep them on side. I did notice here, too, that the Kingdom of Cilicia kind of took some provinces over here from the Sultanate of Rum. And they're very friendly with Antioch, Jerusalem... Uh, Venice, Latin Empire, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to take them out. I think that conquering this much will be enough. But then again, it depends on how much territory they actually do conquer. But uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem here, maybe if we try to get them on side here, maybe we can get a military alliance with them. Military access if we pay them money. Let's offer, like, 6,000? Very good. So we're military eyes with them. Again, just trying to buddy-buddy up with these guys so that when I do get turned on uh, by other factions such as maybe Cilicia, maybe the Latin Empire, they will kind of come on side. Be welcome. Let us talk and then enjoy good Roman wine when we have agreement. Why can't I... Oh, is it because I'm at war with the Empire of Trebizond and you guys are friends with them? All right, fair enough. I mean, maybe we could try and buy the Kingdom of Cilicia into a puppet state, but I just doubt that that's really going to happen. Please, They're please, uh, decently please. strong, so... Alright, so let's go ahead. Um, since we have an army here at Belgrade, we should be able to push forwards here. And we're just going to kind of blast through a couple of turns... Uh, so that we can get the siege equipment we need to take them out. As I said, I'm not planning on fighting this one. We've fought these kinds of garrisons before. But uh, Prague will be different, I think. That would be a kind of a last bastion for Hungary there. Alright, so let's get the church. We've got that there. Let's get that upgraded. Uh, not upgrading any of that because our sanitation isn't the best here. We really actually should have a sanitation building here. How much food do we have? 199. And how much is this providing? What's our local fertil fertility level? Okay, so we're getting... Basically 99 plus 40. So it's 140 food we're getting from that one building. And I don't want to get rid of really anything else. All right, fair enough. And what is this event here that we need to know about? Oh, yeah, Serbian pretenders destroyed. Not a problem. This guy leveled up. His cunning is a little down. Yeah, quite a bit, actually. Would be good to get his cunning up so we can get that 
that minus to upkeep. Although we really don't need uh, any more money. We're doing quite well in that regard. Uh, oh, and uh, Trebizon actually pushed up here. Hmm, that's very interesting. Okay, well, what we could do is actually bring this army over here to take those out. And maybe we'll just raise them. Or if there's the possibility to raise another faction as a vassal, we'll go ahead and do that. Let's bring my spy down here too so we can kind of see what's going on. And then I thought I had an assassin around here. Where's my assassin? That's my priest. I swear I had another agent. Am I blind? Uh... Oh, wow. I totally forgot about this guy. All right, yeah, you keep, you keep, no, 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 keep following along the land there. Uh, I think we moved him already, yes. Oh, is this guy wounded or something? Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, he was wounded. Okay. Oh, unassigned skill for the governor. Let's go ahead and do that. And public order govern province. There we go. And I know many of you have been asking me, well, some people have been asking me uh, in my Discord what my next campaign is going to be, but it will be left to a vote. So after this is done, I will start with a game vote, so basically deciding on what game or mod it will be in, and then after that we'll have a faction vote. But I have to say that this Serbia campaign, I believe, has been the most popular one I've ever had on YouTube. Uh, before, it was the Makadon campaign for the Ancient Empires mod for Attila Total War. But this one is definitely uh, the first one for views. And consistent views, too, even like 12, 13 episodes in. So thank you very much for that. And Trebizondian Pretenders has been annihilated, which is uh, good for them, I guess. Now, is this army ready to go? One more turn, and then I think we'll shoot across and hit Smyrna here. But I need to be careful of the Latin Empire. How about this one, too? One more turn, and we can move them as well. And can I move these guys out? Yes, they are just positive. So let's bring these guys into the harbor at Thessalonica. And then these guys possibly, yeah, could shoot across here. Ready for battle. Can you, yeah, get to the port, because then I won't have to do that next turn. It should save me a lot of movement. Ready very good, very good. And Fearless let's get Lord. these guys up. Hopefully there's not a full stack here sitting. No, there's not. Excellent. Excellent. And is this their king? That might actually be their king in the garrison at Prague. Laying siege to the settlement. Let me see. Yes, this is their king. Ooh, so we might actually fight that siege at Prague, I think. I think that would be very fun. And then we're just going to auto-resolve this. But let's blast through a couple more turns, make sure we're ready to go with everything. Ah, and is this my assassin returned? It is. So, where was that Hungarian priest? The world is at the door. Let's get him. I don't like these Cilician uh, agents over here, too, so I'm going to have to maybe get rid of them. Critical success. Excellent. Well done. And let's... Oh, wait. Over here. Let's just make sure there's nothing here before we push in. see who's faster. Yeah, we're good. Excellent. Okay. So yeah, we'll hit them. And then we'll come down here and hit Kaffa. Actually, Kaffa could be a good staging ground on Anatolia, but it's really not just... It's not part of my objective, so... That's why I'm not super keen on it. Achievement unlocked. A taste for murder. wonder if that's like kill... Kill 50 priests in the campaign. <laughs> 
The Sultanate of Rim would actually be a good campaign, because it looks like it's very challenging even for the AI to hold on. It's surrounded by a lot of Catholics and Greek Orthodox, and all the Crusaders as well. Could be a pretty tough one. I have been leaning towards an Eastern faction as well for my next Let's Play. No! What? That's so annoying. Cilicia, seriously. Besieging the settlement. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Can we risk it? I wonder if we could risk it. Because I want to get out of here, away from these uh, spies. Let's do a balance stance. Excellent. And yeah, we can't raise it, unfortunately, so let's just occupy it. At your command. I kind of want it to rebel, though. Oh, it's got gold here, though. Wow, gold in two regions. Interesting. Hear us, Lord! Okay, how many do we actually have right now? We've got one constructed. So yeah, we should wait a couple more turns till we have a few more towers, and then we will fight that. Let them cower like cattle. Okay, and these armies should be ready to move. I kind of want to keep this army here, actually. Yes. Yeah, I'm kind of wary of the Latin Empire. Okay, so you come in here. Oh, for oh, I hate that when it like locks you into locks you into force march like that. Okay, you guys wait there for now, and you you guys come over here, and we'll wait until we have some more armies down down south before we push into Anatolia, because it is a huge risk leaving the Latin Empire like this, because uh, then when we're attacking in Anatolia, we kind of leave our main territories open to attack. Laying siege to the settlement! No Should be able to auto-resolve that as well. Let's just quickly run down to Kaffa and make sure there's nothing, nothing there. There is not. Let's see if we can start a fire in the settlement. Success, yes! Excellent, there we go. Some of it is smoking. And he leveled up as well. Yeah, start fire. We'll get that up. Some more cunning. Very good. Yeah, pestilence here. That's not ideal. Let's, let's actually get rid of this. And we'll get the sanitation building in here. Actually, we need the sanitation building in a lot of these. Not very good. Okay. Ready for These guys are just healing up, and then we'll move them down south as well. We'll see if the Kingdom of Cilicia is successful against the Sultanate of Rum. I mean, right now I think they're quite stronger than them, so they might actually do alright for themselves. Disease outbreak. Rebellion! Whereabouts? Over here. Oh dear. Okay. Yeah, let's not force them. Oh, yeah, we could actually get them almost there. Yeah, they're taking a little bit of attrition, but if we force march into there... Oh, we're not... We're still not replenishing. Okay. 
Well, we did get those buildings destroyed, so let's get the fountains and... Ah, we have copper here. Yes, definitely get that. Maybe we should convert this over to the sanitation one. Now we'll see how things go. Alright. Can we get there? In just regular march? Ah, almost. Almost. Is this their capital? Or actually, it would probably be Trebizond would be like their main, their main settlement. Oh yeah, and Antioch is actually coming like way over here, so this is a bit of a problem. So you guys will have to weigh down in the comments below and let me know what you think I should do, because this is this is a problem. If I go to war with them, it's going to be, it's going to be bad, because they're all allied with each other. It would bring in. If I attack Cilicia, per se, it would it would bring in Antioch, Jerusalem, and Venice. So that's why you can we kind of have to like buy them out. At least Jerusalem. In our good name, be welcome and speak in friendship. I will give a receptive ear to your words. Not even for 218k. Really. Really. Well, we're military allies with them, so... I don't want to military ally with Antioch, though. So what about Venice? Venice is also very good friends with a lot of these factions around here. Welcome, and let us be honored by your attendance and your words. Let's see if I can buy them out. Oof, that's a lot of money to give. I mean, we could do it for like, what, 30,000? <sighs> wow, okay. Alright, I don't think there's anything else I can do. We're just waiting a few more turns to attack that. Besieging settlement! Yeah, because we've got two towers, so yeah, four would be good. And then we could steamroll on in, kill the Hungarian king. We take this settlement. Man, if Venice declared war on me right now, that would be pretty bad. Same if the Latin Empire went to war against me, too. Oh, they put a full stack in there. Hmm. Got there just in time, eh, Trebizond? I mean, if they sally out against us, that could actually be a pretty good battle. Don't you dare. Oh, yes. Now I get to do it to him. Assassinate you. My lord's office. Uh, Kingdom of Alania. You have much that we want. So, what say you? Oh, they're actually Orthodox Christianity. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Wow, they're they're destroyed. You're kidding me. See that. That means that there's a lot of, of friendly Catholics that own stuff here now. Who is this? Oh, the Latin Empire came way down here. That's, that's not too big of a deal, actually. So it looks like Cilicia was kind of blocked to their one settlement. But Antioch's kind of taken a lot of this stuff. I wonder if I could, like... Where's Trebizond? What if you... I was thinking, what if I could get them to attack Antioch, but I guess that's not going to happen. I mean, I'm not really particularly worried, if I'm honest. A blockade. Militia. They've got some Skutitoi in there. Peltastoi. 
We'll say I've got the garrison. Oh, is this their king here too? <laughs> What's with the kings being in the garrisons of the town? They're 100% going to be sallying out against us here. But funnily enough, I think that I can handle that. I've got a really beefy army here. A good shock army, a good charging army. So I feel pretty confident. Wow, this can hold out for 16 turns. Besieging settlement. I should actually... You know what I should do? Ah, they can't reach here in time, unfortunately. But I was going to say we can come and blockade their docks so that they actually take more attrition. Never wary of the Latin Empire. Okay, so we actually... We stopped the rebellion here, too. So let's get that up, that up. We're doing pretty good on... Okay, so what if I leave the... Where's the border? What if I leave? Minus five, okay. Actually, come down here. Because we'll still be in the same province. We sh still should be offering the bonuses. But we'll be closer here just in case the Latin Empire has any ideas. Yeah, just continue what you're doing there. Research is finished. Large port and fishing port, 19 turns. That'd be good, but we could get the, get the extra gold, copper mines, stone mines. All right. How can I help? 86%. Come on. Yes, got him. Christ be praised. And how are we looking here? This settlement. Yeah, we've got four towers, so I think we should be able to move in here. Although it's not letting me quick save. So we might have to wait one more turn so that I can None do the quick save because I don't want to have that that bug happen again where it takes me back to the beginning of the episode. That would be pretty bad. Okay, that can be upgraded for sure. And how much food do we have? 57. 57. Yeah, we kind of do need some more food there. Oh, that could be upgraded for sure. That could be upgraded. That could be upgraded. That could be upgraded. It's a sanitation here. Total sanitation, yes. We, we're good on sanitation there for sure. Not so much there, though. We have to be careful. Although that'll be going up, so we should be able to get the cattle herd up as well. Or should I get the fairground? Because we got we got food, so that's not a problem. Bohemia et Hungaria. My sword is yours. Wow, this guy has no authority. Where's his authority? We've maxed it out. Why is he so he's boring? And phlegmatic. I don't know what that is, but that's fine, I guess. And governor, let's give him that and that. So yeah, we need to do another turn. Oh, wait, can we quick save now? No, nothing happens. So yeah, we're going to have to do one more turn. Because we need to make sure we can quick save there. Oh, go away, Venice. Go away from my shores. Venice is so sneaky too. I could see them being total backstabbers. Venice in this in this mod kind of what? Oh right, yeah, I forgot they're coming up against me. Now what did they bring in? Alright, let's see if we let's pull back and see if we can get them to actually Oh shoot, that that actually might not be Oh no. Okay. 
Okay, I dodged a bullet there because I thought that the Latin Empire was going to come in. So the Latin Empire has betrayed me. I just realized that. That they've come in. So Trebizond must have called them in. Yeah, united against us. Yeah, Empire of Troubles on oh, scumbags. Alright. Uh, actually, yeah, let's go up into Spain and see what we can find. Okay, so I need to save this army. It's completely surrounded. There's a lot of artillery in that. So they have an army over here, so we need to bring our army over to Tarnovo. Or actually, could hit Philippopolis. What's the garrison like? And then, uh, I can't see with this army what it is. Hmm. I would like to move in, but I'm wondering if this army is going to come up and hit us. I mean, it would kind of be good to thin them out, I guess, but these both of these armies can reinforce, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and we're really trying to get the public order here under control. Okay, Tarnovo... Sredit should have a decent garrison. Uh, it's not the best, though. It's really not the best. Okay, let's bring these guys to Tarnovo. And this army over here... If we force march it... Let's bring it down to Sredit's for the next turn. And can... Ah, oh, we still can't quick save. Dang, I should have maybe checked... Done this as, like, the first thing. None will escape. Hmm, we might not actually be able to fight that this episode, which is frustrating, especially if they come out against us again. Yeah, because they brought two full stacks here, so... Okay, yeah, we're going to have to go against the Latin Empire. There's just no other choice in the matter, so let's double-time it into Thessalonica here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this army trapped here? Oh shoot, it can't get out. Ready for battle. Oh no. You may as well get comfy, men. Police reporting. Hmm. Where should I Uh yeah, you're just going to have to go back to Thessalonica. Commander. Oh, that really sucks for this guy. Why is his integrity so terrible, too? Oh, my goodness. It's because he was recruiting in, in friendly territory for so long, probably. Oh, well, this army can help at Philippopolis. We'll crush the Latin Empire and then spill into Anatolia. But this has made things a little bit more complicated. Yeah, can't save. Okay, so I need to remember that that's the first thing I do when I end the turn. And I also realized I forgot to move my spy. Or maybe I did. Yeah, I think I did send him up into Spain. Well, I should have checked if I could maybe buy peace with one of these guys too. But I mean, if they come against me and I'm fortified, I actually think I might do all right. It depends on what they have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what the, what is this <laughs> what is this meme build here all the catapults and all the scorpions well we do have a decent amount of cab I suppose we have like almost the same amount of manpower although these things could shred us pretty easily 
Oh, I guess it's do or die here. We're gonna have to face the massive artillery spam of the Latin Empire, but uh, can we quick save here? We can't even quick save either, so this is going to be a huge risk. I really hope that it doesn't bring me back to the beginning of the episode, but I will see you guys on the battlefield. But it is a proud one. Now, to arms! All right, guys, welcome to the battlefield. I certainly hope that we won't be sent right back to the beginning of the episode after this battle. But, okay, so we've got some forces coming over here. I think this is the main force. And then we've got reinforcements coming in over here. Yeah, just a lot of artillery. Just a lot of artillery. So, I think we could sally out against this. I mean, let's face our swords this way. Let's get our spears out, or sorry, our axes out on the flanks, and let's get our cavalry out over here. See what we can do. Now, this is one of the generals. This is the main general, too, so hopefully we will be able to utilize our towers, but the problem is, is as I said, we can't really sit here for too long, uh, and they're bringing all their cavalry out, so let's actually wait. Okay, let's, let's wait and see what happens here. So let's form up two units here. Two units here. Two here. And uh, you boys, yeah, just sit, sit in reserve here for now. And we'll see what happens. Maybe let's break the general out of this group. Because these arrow towers will be able to do a decent amount of damage. Let's get these guys into shield wall. And uh, these guys, shield wall. Yeah, see, they did bring a lot of their cavalry over very quickly, so it's good that we didn't move out against them. Let's use one to defend here. We'll keep kind of one back here just in case, and this will be the way that our cavalry moves out. And we've got some artillery over here that's undefended, so. Wait till they engage. Let's bring them out. Oh, they are closing in fast here. Boys, you need to form up. There we go. Yep, force them away. Their artillery is nowhere near us, uh, so that's very good. Okay, we're going to send two, like, off to the side to deal with them. One is going to go after them. Two are going to form up back here. And we need some axes in here to help out. Those swords are having a bit of trouble. Absolutely hammer them here, destroy their general. Yeah, just keep moving on the flanks. And go. And that should really help things here. Let's get these guys into shield wall. Let's get this one into shield wall. Okay, oh yeah, they're really going after our cavalry, but they're focused on something else. Uh, need my cavalry to run down all those artillery. Really need them. So I'm hoping that they don't break. There we go, so we've silenced them. That's perfect. Okay, so you stay on them, make sure that they break for good. And yeah, now we've got the axes in to slaughter the general. It's just too much. Look at all this artillery. This is going to be a disaster to deal with. Yeah, make sure to shatter these guys completely. crossbows should probably go after them. General will die here, which is good. Let's have a 
A couple of these guys ready to reinforce. We do have some more mounted sergeants coming in here. Oh, come on, catapult crew, seriously. Yeah, waver there. They've got one left, so that's, that's not going to be an issue. Those catapults are going to be a pain in the butt. Okay, good. So they got 11 left. They've got six. How many do they have? Seven. That should be enough. So let's bring let's bring these guys into the trees here. Because I don't want any of this artillery escaping. Okay, that should be good. These other two units are slowly breaking. These guys are taking damage to the arrow towers as well. I have some extra units here to help out should we get charged. Which is exactly what may happen here. The general just needs to die. I have to try and sneak these guys all the way around. I really need my other two units of cavalry though. That's the only problem. Okay, so they charged in. So let's push forwards to help out here. I also want these guys to rest as well. I don't want them to be too exhausted. Let's get these guys close. Okay, the general's starting to waver. That is good to see. We're literally going to have to pick these guys off one by one. Make sure you kill that general. Keep on him. Oh, this unit came back, did it? General can handle that. Yes! Excellent indeed. Okay, let's get these two units over. Let's form you boys back up. Let's pull these guys back a bit. And actually, let's let's get these guys over here. Are they exhausted? I mean, they're tired. Crossbows over here need to be dealt with for sure. Can try and deal with... Oh my, there's so many of them. It's ridiculous. Oh dear, dear, oh dear. And there's a lot of crossbows too. That's that's also a problem. Okay, let's uh, let's try and go after the crossbows then. Uh, stick together. Yeah, probably should stick together. Yeah, come down the hilltop here. Oh my gosh, like. Cavalry is just being annihilated here. Okay, into the backs of these guys. Oh, that was a disaster. All of the ballistas are just shredding my cavalry. Oh, that is so frustrating. This meme army. Okay, these guys are taking way too much damage. Pull back. Where's my general gun? Okay, he's still here. Okay, get that one. Get that one. Get that one. Come on, come on, come on. Break, 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 break. Yeah, we need to come over. Well, no, we, we do need to get that one because it's going to be firing on us for absolutely no reason. What do we got over here? This is a lot of ballistas. They're just shredding my cavalry again. Oh, my goodness. 
<laughs> this is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know if we're actually gonna win this. This this meme build is that like just stupid. Totally stupid. And we still do we have a, like another army to deal with after this? I think we do. I think we have like a whole nother army. Just attack them. Charge. While they're repositioning. This is like three of them we could take off the battlefield. Oof, 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 oof. Yeah, that cab is gone. Take out this. Are they firing over here now? Yes, they are. I mean, they have so much ammo left, too, as well. Like, there's not much we can do about this. We're gonna have to sally out. I've just got to. I'm just getting destroyed. This is a surprisingly pretty effective force. Like, a lot of the catapults are over here, so, I mean, they're easier to deal with. Easier-ish, I guess. Jeez. Get out of shield wall. Oh, all of the damage. Seriously. Run after them. I mean, I would bring my general out, but I'm worried he's just going to get slaughtered. If I can attack these uh, ballistas, we might might be able to scrape a victory. But I, as I said, I don't know if there's like another army. If there's another army that's supposed to come in here. Come on, if we can take out, you know, these catapults, that would be very good. Yeah, we're getting wrecked. This is <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, they're not going to be able to fire. They're kind of moving forwards, it looks like. They're a bit distracted with my units that are moving here. So, I mean, even if we can scrape some kind of, some kind of victory out of this, or I mean, not even a victory, but like some kind of, I don't know, make it worth it. Okay, here we go. All these guys are ready as well. We can kind of help them out. Here we go, General. You can get rid of these stupid crossbows for me that are causing me so much trouble. Come on, seriously, you're not going to be broken by a catapult crew, are you? Why don't you just come out this way? Get out of shield wall, fools. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. You're good. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. This is good. If we can get rid of their ballistas, this is very good. Keep running them away from my general. Yes, got you. Got you, got you, got you. Come on, come on. Come on. Break the catapult crew. You're not going to break the catapult crew, are you? For shame! Yeah, you two keep on that. You move forwards. Come on, I believe, I believe. Should be able to break them too. Stop them from firing at least. No! Okay, you've got to come over here then. Because if we lose our general, it is over. Look at these guys too. You're just sitting here like. Yeah, it's not like we're fighting for our lives or anything, just getting ballista bolted to death, but we're just going to chill. Just gonna chill here. 
Oh, okay, come come back. No, 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 no. Okay, you guys need to break off. Ooh, this is bad. This is bad. Get out. Okay, now no, charge them. Other cav. It came back. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Please tell me this is all the catapults. If I, if I see another army coming in, I'm probably going to cry. Yes, good, we've locked them down. Turn around and hit these guys here. Send the swords in. We may lose our general here. I, that tends to be my specialty. Send in some more boys to help out, silence these. Yes, yes, yes! You know what's gonna be funny too is we're actually going to win this battle by the skin of our teeth. And then we are going to see the Empire of Trebizond sally out against us and just wreck us. But I mean, we severely weakened the Latin Empire. Severely weakened them. Oh, yes! <laughs> Victory! And I will probably cry if this brings me back to the start of the episode. I hope that that is not the case. But I want to run down absolutely as many of these guys as I can. As many as I can. So, whew, what a victory. I will see you guys back on the campaign map. Alright, and it looks like we're okay. I don't think it's gone back to the start of the episode, which is fantastic. And look at the amount of damage we did to these guys. But I want to see these ballistas. I feel like those ballistas absolutely shredded me. 76, 98, 96, 87, 55. Catapults weren't as good because they weren't as accurate. 23, 30, 39, 43... My goodness, what a meme army that is. We unfortunately lost two of our cavalry units, but we managed to hang on to the other three and our general. 425 kills. Uh, let's definitely take on warriors. Ready for battle. And unfortunately, they are able to retreat. That's less than ideal. No, please, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Dear. I mean, funnily enough, the balance of power is kind of the same. But they have so many javelins. And so many archers. We don't have any archers. This isn't a defensive army, it's an offensive army. Hmm, well, I... Uh, can I quick save here? Oh, I think we could quick save. Excellent. I was going to say I may have to fight this one too. But we will start the next episode with this battle. And it's good this week that I have two Serbian campaign episodes in a row. So you won't have to wait very long to see this battle and also the slaughter of the Hungarian king. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And I will see you in the next one.